This video was brought to you by NCIX. Great technology, selection, and service. Hello everyone, I'm Dmitry with Hyrule Canucks and Samsung Gear VR is really meant to hit two birds with one stone. First to show off the truly mobile virtual reality ecosystem while locking to one truly amazing smartphone, the Note 4. Samsung really is expanding their reach towards mobile tech and this is a more fancy and device specific headgear that's very similar to what we saw with Google Cardboard VR headset. So the way it works is you insert the Galaxy Note 4 as this currently will only work with the Note 4 and perhaps later expand to support multiple devices. With the handset in place, there's an additional plastic cover for aesthetics, of course, and since the speaker is on the backside of the handset, uh, it helps to balance the audio with pretty impressive audible immersion. However, you are able to still plug in headphones for private enjoyment. By no means this is a new design, it's very similar if not almost identical to what we've seen from Oculus Rift with two lenses for that three-dimensional feel and in fact Samsung has actually teamed up with Oculus who have developed this headset and the software. There's a wheel up top to adjust lens distance, so how close your eyes are to the display. Unfortunately, it didn't seem like there's any clearance for glasses. On the right side, there's a back button, touchpad, and a volume control. And since it's fully powered by a smartphone, it's completely wireless and does not require any external setup aside from installing the applications on the Note 4. And it's the resolution and pixel density of the Note 4 that allows this to operate quite well with really awesome immersion and various applications from VR gaming to theater-like movie experiences. I played a quick adventure game that really puts you in a total different setting that's uh, all powered by a phone with a pleasant sense of scale. Of course, there are limitations on the type of gaming from the smartphone you can achieve and also the Android ecosystem, but we have already seen Half-Life 2 ported onto Android and many other cool titles in the works for the Android ecosystem that would really help to drive this virtual reality on a truly mobile device. They've managed to reduce head movement latency to 20 milliseconds, which is almost instantaneous and very accurate to even slight head movements that helps to um, you know, bring that immersion feeling. I still do think it's way too bulky of a device to be used on a regular basis. You know, I would love to see something more simple, something more compact, but they have managed to create a good looking headset that is also comfortable, so that's a plus. And as soon as we see a larger array of higher resolution phones on the market, this would become a very popular way to enjoy VR directly from your smartphone. So what do you guys think of this design and for potential Note 4 users, would you consider Gear VR to complement the overall usability of your phone? And what are your thoughts on the exclusivity of the Gear VR to the Note 4? And as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed for more similar content and we'll see you in the next one.